Hello YouTube and welcome to another Proxmox tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to monitor your Proxmox server using InfluxDB with Grafana. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you can see here I'm logged in to my uh, Proxmox server. Okay. So if I click on my data center here you will see that there is actually an option just at the bottom which called metric server and here for the add options I have actually two options to monitor my Proxmox I can do it using Graphit or InfluxDB so here actually the database that we'll be actually using is InfluxDB okay so in order to add this metric server if I click on this add InfluxDB, I have to provide a name, a server IP address, and of course, we'll be using the default port and protocol, okay? But I need actually an organization and the bucket, and the most important thing here is a token, okay? So let's do that on another, uh, actually, machine, a virtual machine. So here I'll be connecting to my machine here, which is called monitor. It's actually uh, Ubuntu server and here we'll be installing InfluxDB, the database that will hold actually the metrics and also Grafana which is graphical user interface that will show us all these metrics. Okay. So first thing first we have as I told you to install InfluxDB. So I'll be installing actually InfluxDB 2 version 2 in order to do that. Okay. So under Ubuntu is pretty easy. All we have to do is to download the deep file. So I will begin by downloading this file. So this is the command. So I'll be using here curl in order to download this influxdb.deb file. Okay. So let's do that. Here we go. Okay, so let's list it and indeed we have our InfluxDB. So now all we have to do is to install it. So let's install this package. So I'll be using also the dpkg command for that, pretty famous. Here we go. And the package is being installed. Okay, so after that, all I have to do is to start the service. So the command is also pretty simple service influxdb start. Here we go. And after that, of course, we have to check if the service influxdb is indeed started. I'll be using the same command, but at the end, instead of start, I will just input status. And as you can see here, the server or the service is active and running. Okay. So now we can try to open a web browser and to get connected to our InfluxDB. So let's open web page and check if I can actually access this web server okay so i'll use in here http and the ip address of my ubuntu server is 105 and the default port is 8086 8086 here we go so let's hit enter and see what we get and as you can see now, I can get access to my InfluxDB. So let's click on this getting started. And here I have to provide a username. So I'll use admin and of course a password also. So let's confirm that. For the organization name, I'll be using live for it here we go. So this credential will be using it in order to add it to Proxmox as you have seen before. And for the initial bucket name, I will just provide Proxmox. So here, of course, you can input whatever 
you need and let's continue and here is the most important thing here so you have to copy this token so this token here is pretty pretty important so as you can see here or read here make sure to copy your operator APA token now so let's copy it using this button here and the token has been copied to our clipboard so now let's return back to our Proxmox and try to add this InfluxDB. So here we go. So I will go to the metric section here. So I will add my InfluxDB. So here for the name, I can just import InfluxDB. And of course here, the IP address of the server where I have installed my influx db okay so here i'll be using uh, the default uh, port which is 8086 so it's 8086 and not 8089 here we go and for the organization And here I'll be actually inputting the token so all I have to do is to paste it here we go and I will create that okay here so in order to actually fill in the organization and the bucket I have here to choose for the protocol HTTP and not UDP so now I can enter my organization name which is Le4IT and of course follow the bucket is Proxmox here we go and the token that I have copied so let's create this actually metric server here we go so now let's return back to our influx DB and try to refresh this page and see if we get something so let's return to our home page and let's go to the data explorer here here we go so here we have our proxmox and we can see the different measurements so let's for example check cpu states here and i'll submit that and see if i get some data and indeed here you can see that i get some values which means that i receive actually measurement from our proxmox server okay so now now we have done with the influx db so now let's go to the graphical user interface grafana which allows us to actually show these metrics in a good way or beautiful way okay so let's go to our server in order to install actually grafana so i'll be using the same uh, machine that I have used in order to install actually InfluxDB okay so here I will install uh, the required packages to install Grafana here we go and after that I will install the actually so I will create a directory here and use this long command so of course all the commands you will get them on the command below okay so now let's add a repository for that so here I have actually I did a mistake Because I have to get rid of this sudo command but because I am already root here we go now all I have to do is an up update and then I will install Grafana here we go yes
Okay, I guess Grafana is installed now. Let's check the version with this command Grafana server version here. Okay, and let's start now the service. Here we go. The service is running. Let's check it. So the service is running. Of course, InfluxDB and also uh, Grafana should be rest restarted automatically on the boot. So let's do that using the command systemctl enable Grafana so it will start at the boot time. Okay. So now we have installed everything. We have InfluxDB, we have Grafana. So normally now we should go to open another web page for Grafana which runs on port 3000. So let's do that and see what we get. So I'll use HTTP in order to access Grafana here. So as I told you, the port is 3000. If you don't get the web page, it means that uh, maybe the port is closed by your firewall. Okay. So here you can see that I can access the web interface of Grafana. Okay. So let's connect to it using the default credentials, which are admin, admin. Okay. Here we go. Okay. So it's asking me to change the password, which I will do right now. Okay. So I guess now the password has been changed. Okay. So the first thing to do is of course to connect your data source, which is in this case InfluxDB. So let's do that. So let's go to connections and add data source. And as I told you, we'll be using here InfluxDB. So add a data source and I'll be using InfluxDB. Here we go. The name is InfluxDB. So for the query language, uh, I will use uh, Influx actually. So actually here I will not be using Influx uh, QL, but Influx, oh, Flux actually because it supported InfluxDB2 which I am using. Okay, so make sure to choose here Flux and not Influx QL. Okay. So here I will use the credentials for my server. So if you remember, it's HTTP, it's 192.168.1.105, okay? And the port is 8086. Okay, so I will leave here the default, but for the authentication, I will not be using a uh, user and password, which is the basic authent but I will be using here a token. So for the organization here, I have to fill in the one that I have entered when I installed InfluxDB, which is leave for IT. Okay. And of course, for the token, I will be creating another one for, uh, especially for Grafana. So I will have to return to InfluxDB in order to do that. So let's return back to our InfluxDB here. Here we go. So here we go. I will go to load data and here I have to choose APA tokens. Okay, so let's click on it and let's generate a special one for Grafana. So I will here be using custom API token. Okay. And the bucket, of course, I'll be using Proxmox here and I will just use read option here for my Proxmox. So here I'm exposing only the Proxmox backup in a read. So let's generate the token. So here I have to copy this token here and add it to Grafana in order to link the two. So I will go to Grafana and I will paste the token here. Okay. Here we go. So let's save and test. And as you can see here, the data source is working, one bucket found, so everything works great. So the final step here is to add a dashboard to Grafana so we can see 
all the matrix in graphical way okay so if i go to google and type grafana dashboard so you can see the site provides actually a lot of so this is not official one this is the official one from grafana actually okay so if you enter here you will see that there is a lot of dashboards and you, if you search for uh, dashboard for proxmox you get many but uh, actually you have to pay attention you have to choose the one that is compatible with influxdb2 okay so me i already found one which is compatible with influxdb2 which is this one here and here this is the one i'll be using actually but the most important thing here is to not its id which is 18621 okay because we'll be using this id in order to import it to our grafana server okay so let's return back now that we have an id for our dashboard and install it on our grafana so I'm on my home here so now I'm on my home so I will actually go to dashboards here here we go and I will try to add a new import okay here we go so we get this import dashboard so all I have to do here is to provide the ID in this input box here which is 18621 so let's load it here we go so we can just import it but before that i have to choose my influx db which is the default one here we go and let's import and see if we get something and indeed now you can see that i get a dashboard with all the different things that i have on my proxbox web server and with the metrics that are displaying so I have successfully uh, imported this dashboard to my Grafana. So of course you can customize it as you want. So there is some option for editing, inspecting and more things. But the object of this video is that to show you how to use it using actually uh, InfluxDB. Okay. And of course you can save as many dashboard as you want so that was just a brief video to show you how to monitor your proxmox using influxdb and grafana so if you found this video helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any further content and of course if you have any any suggestion for future video drop them in the comment below as always i hope it has been informative for you and i want to thank you for viewing bye bye